first time I saw it was amazing to me. It just blew my mind. I thought, what kind of voodoo stuff is this? He walks into a round pen, and five minutes, he's got a horse following him around like a dog. Everything you do with a horse is a dance. Now, you always hear about breaking horses. There's a whole element of abuse, really. And you don't realize how unjust it is until someone shows you a different path. A lot of times, rather than helping people with horse problems, I'm helping horses with people problems. In this particular discipline, you have to be a sensitive person. See there, she's trying to protect herself. There's a change. That vulnerability is what makes you great. That's why so many of the folks that are really good at this are um, sometimes they're tortured souls. My dad had a violent temper. He was a terrifying person. When something is scared for their life, I understand that. Nobody's here to hurt you. When I met Buck, he's got a big hat on, his vest, and he looks like he's got a costume on. And then his humanity and a gentle spirit came off real quick. It's a real trust thing between the two of you. A little bit like when you're dating. That last two minutes of the date can be a real deal breaker. He was just a very ordinary boy. Didn't show signs of early genius. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You sound the stand that every life must This horse tells me quite a bit about you. As we sit alone, I know someday we must go. Boy, do you feel like a fool and kind of like a failure, you know? Oh, it's all right. Oh, I'm a lucky man to count on both hands the ones I love. If you've got a taste of what I'm talking about, stay with me. It'll make you better in areas that you didn't think related to horses. Let's just breathe. God had him in mind when he made a cowboy. 